story w w was particularly good. I thought it was on the money. It had picture, it had a really good uh, interviewee in there, it was well told and the script was well written and, and I thought that story w was good enough to go on any regional bulletin. Um, and that sort of filtered through the show. Um, even the, the, the second story you, that you did about the, the, the politics of the cuts, it is the big issue at the moment uh, and all the cuts and the job losses as a result of them. Um, I thought that was a story that, that was born out of another part of your uh, your output and you were able to get a news line from that and make it into a story. And that's, you know, that's a sign of coming in the morning saying, God, I've got nothing here. And yet you came up with the goods and, and, and made something of it. I thought the live was really good. Uh, I thought the, the live that you did were, was, was well told. You've agreed the question beforehand, and I think that's the key, particularly if you're doing a timed news show as you are. You're not doing endless 24-hour rolling news like, like Sky or, or BBC News, but you're doing a timed show, and it's quite important, therefore, to know the, the, what the questions are going to be so you can then focus your, your answer. Um, I think you're getting a, an excellent training here. Um, a lot of the jobs that you're going to go into next year, be they radio or if you're lucky enough straight in, into television, are going to be multi-skilled. They're going to want you to know about the technology as well as the journalism. They're going to want you to know about the law as well as your sound levels. Uh, and that's a unique skill and you're getting that here. And then you just need to apply that to the industry and step up to industry standards if you like. And you're pretty close to doing that. But I think you're getting a really really good training here um, and you've got the right kit, you've got a big studio, you've got you know laptops and Apple Macs and you're doing the editing and you're thinking about your sound um, and that's you know it's, it's a pretty tall order when you ask someone to do that and so I think you know, when you're finding jobs next year you're, you're in a good place it's just convincing your potential employer that you can do the job to the standard uh, they're looking for. I thought that general election coverage was remarkably uh, ambitious for a, a student set up for having to do multiple live uh, broadcasts. I thought it was pretty amazing. The, the, the product that you produced, yes of course it wasn't on the scale of what, what the BBC or uh, ITV put out that night, but then you don't have the budgets of many millions of pounds uh, that those respective organisations spent on their programmes. I thought it was it was pretty slick, it looked like you were uh, across all the stories, uh, you were ahead of your game on that one and um, I was I was really impressed with what you managed to achieve, you know, using cutting edge technology. And that will stand you in good stead as you go into the industry because everything's about how you can do things more cheaply and how you can harness technology to, to get pictures from A to B and you were using Skype and uh, other forms of the internet and uh, I thought how you were able to cover counts in Southampton and Basingstoke and get the Andover result on air before anybody else was, was pretty impressive so I think so we should all be pretty proud. A uh, project like